skiing and you're on a slalom ski, right? You take your back foot out and you slide that slightly forward. It's an uncomfortable position. And then you step out of that ski, drop in the ski a barefoot, and you fall on your face for two and a half days. You roll and you roll and you roll and you roll. And we did that. Oh, Finally, one of us stuck it. I don't remember if it was me or somebody else, but then I got where I could do it. 16 years old, 145 pounds, soaking wet, you know. So I could step out of that ski and the spray would be coming up over our face because 32 miles an hour is actually too slow to do this. We didn't know. And so, but the spray is coming up over our face. We're just... <laughs> I learned to do that at 16 years old. I never got any better. <laughs> I stuck there until I was 46. Isn't that bizarre? 46 years old, I'm still going... <laughs> But I was the only guy around that could do it, so it was still impressive to everybody, right? <laughs> and I would just fall all over the lake. It was just ridiculous. I'd come home sore and beat up and just didn't know what I was doing. Well, my son comes along, Daniel, and he's a great water skier. He's learned the stuff. We taught him. We got a lake house. We got good boats now. We got master crafts, so we can do all these wakeboard stuff and this surfing and all these different things. I'm like, Daniel, we're getting one of those booms, man. I'm going to teach you how to barefoot. Well, I couldn't teach him how to barefoot because I didn't know how hardly. You know, we got out there on that bar and we're like, ah, holding on. And he would fall and fall and fall and he'd get up and he'd go, at what point is this fun, Dad? And so, you know, it was just like beat the snot out of you, right? It was just awful. We were horrible. And then finally, we, you know, now you can get on the videos, right? So we got some videos. Oh, that's what we're doing now. Oh, oh, we actually need a wetsuit. Oh, wow. Because they make these cool wetsuits that have like pads on them and so you can ride on your butt and stuff and do this thing. And you do learn to do it right. So we learn to come up on our butt, which is a whole lot better. Put our feet down, stand up and barefoot. And, and all of a sudden, we started learning a few things. And we went from learning nothing to 46 years old. I still didn't have the right to guide my 16-year-old because I didn't know what I was doing. I was still stuck down there. And I'll tell you the rest of the story in a few minutes because it's interesting, particularly today. Water skiers, world champions on several events. You're sitting right down here. Friends of mine, uh, Keith St. Holmes is a good friend. And is this David? No. no? Is it Ben? Ben Grown. It's Ben, okay. And Ben's one of the top barefooters in the world as well. They're from right over here at Lakeland, Florida. And so we're in that mode where Daniel and I are trying to learn this stuff. And I get on the phone, call my buddy over at Mastercraft. Um, boats, and I said, hey, I need somebody. And he said, well, how about the world champion? He's a friend of mine. I said, that'll work. And so <laughs> um, we had Keith come up to the house, and he spent four or five days with us a couple of summers in a row. And it's amazing. In four days, we learned more in 10 minutes than I had learned in 30 years. We changed our whole process, all our equipment, everything we did, because you got the best of the best of the best. You have a master who's guiding the best in the world, and all of a sudden you can change your direction, right? And, and so, but at the learning stage, you got to experiment, you got to try. Now, my son Daniel has become, he's 21 years old, he has no body fat, it's ridiculous, and he's become a great barefooter, and he's not here, so I'm going to use a, a video of him falling, because <laughs> he's actually a whole lot better than I am, but I'm going to do it because he's, because it's what I had on my iPhone too, because it's just funny. It was early one morning, we always get up about 5 a.m. and go. But this is what it looks like at the learning stage in that world. So 
you know, but, and so I'm just a lot, I'm more at the editing stage than the learning stage, because I'm going to just do just the right stuff, because the main thing, my main goal is not necessarily look pretty, but just don't fall, right? <laughs> Gotta love the GoPro on the bar. athletes at the very, very top of their game. And so while he was at our house, we're going, mm, and we're learning to just finally stand up and that kind of stuff. And then the master says, hey, I want to do this thing. There's this cool bridge over here. So you got to watch this just for a minute. So you know what the difference now is in learning and mastering. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> 